All right, now we're going to go over just setting up auto track in your combine. Um, basically, for starters, we're on a, just a normal home page here that you'd be on while you're harvesting. So to get to your auto track settings, you're going to use your menu screen. And then you'll go from menu into this Green Star 2 Pro, which is letter H. And then basically we're already on the guidance page here, but that's button B right here. Um, for starters, you always want to check your guidance settings here. Be sure you're on whichever tracking mode you wish to have. Um, most generally it's going to be straight track. You can also do curve track or adaptive curves. Um, the other thing you'll, you'll want to have set up is your shift track. We usually just turn on the small shifts, which is one, in one inch increments. Um, going back to our view page, just come here and make sure. Um, one thing we notice here is we've got this our, our tracking width set for 30 feet. You'll, we'll have to go in and change that on our header page. 30 feet is going to be the default, so whatever header you've got, you're going to have to change that. Um, so you'll come in here to letter H, which is your machine settings, and you'll go into your header, and then you'll come down here and see we've got implement width of 15 feet, but our track spacing and our physical width are both 30. So we'll just change widths, we'll just put 15 in for our, for our physical width and our track spacing. So now we've got that set up, we should be able to come back to our home page. And then you can set up your auto track anywhere you've got the set track zero icon. So I'll just come in and use this one. Um, basically, I'll come in here to new and I'll give this, this line a new name. If you want to be specific about it, you can and that way you've always got this line saved for this field. If you don't want to ever recall the line, you can just enter a number, put enter there. Method is A plus B, which that's what we want for this for this setup. We're going to hit set A. Now I'm going to pull forward with the combine. Basically, I'd be driving to the other end. Right about the time I got to the other end, I'd want to stop the combine reach up and hit set B. And that brings up my heading. I went 273 degrees. Basically 270 degrees would be straight west. 360 or zero would be straight north. Straight east would be 90. Or straight south would be 180. So I can see I've got 273 degrees in there. I can hit enter. Go back to my home page. I can see here I've got lines and my combine sitting right in the center of one of my lines. After that I've just got to be sure to turn steering on. Now I've got steer on, icon on. I'm going to go ahead and get the combine rolling back towards the other end. I've got a number two button set to drop my header. I'm going to use that. It's going to drop my header. You heard that little beep. That's my auto track engaging. I can tell it's engaged because I've got a little green button right here and the letter A in the center of it. Therefore, my auto track is on. And that's basically all you have to do to get your auto track running. Whenever you get to the other end, as soon as you grab the steering wheel, your auto track will kick out. Now, whenever you switch to beans, you're running your platform. A lot of guys would like to cut at a little bit of an angle. Um, so normally we just do that, we just set a heading rather than setting an A plus B like you've done in the past. Um, that's really handy for guys so that way they don't have to drive their A, B line, they can just set a heading. So to do that you're going to come back in here to set track zero and you're going to name a new, new line and we'll just put in number four. And then the main thing you got to keep in mind is you've got to change this method right here. Right now we're on A plus B. We're just going to come down to A plus heading. So, and we can basically set an A point. And from right where we're setting, we're going to put in a heading, the angle we want the combine to go. So that way we don't have to drive that first pass. Um, for for this purposes, we're heading about straight west. If you wanted to go your combine to go a little north of straight west, you'd be looking at about 274, something like that. And that'd just be a little north of straight west. 
keep in mind your headings are 0 is straight north, 90 is straight east, 180 is straight south, 270 is straight west. So basically you just put in an angle that fits whatever you're wanting to cut and that way that first pass is an auto track pass so you don't have any little bow you're starting out with and that way your second pass you don't have to go back and pick up any slobbers or anything like that. Setting up a heading is just as simple as that. We're now going to talk about your auto track resume on your hydro handle. They made this change with S series. They now added an auto track resume switch on all S series models. You can select that to engage your auto steer. You can also still use your two and your three to do the same thing. Two will also engage it, three will also engage it. So you have three options now on what to use. One will not. All right, we just wanted to show you the new uh, auto track row sense from Deer. Um, if you've got these on your combine, a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, basically, the row sense sensors are only going to be on one row, um, and there, there's only going to be the one set of them. And basically, the, the auto track row sense will use these sensors anytime they're feeling corn. So, so if there's a row of corn and it's hitting on this one, basically the machine is going to turn that way to keep the header in line with that row. And then if, if the corn's just going right through the center of the sensors and it's not hitting either sensor, it's just going to run on auto track, just the normal auto track that you have in your tractors. Um, the sensors themselves can run without GPS for just a couple of minutes and and the anytime you lose the sensor you know lose sensing say you're going across the waterway or something like that well then basically the auto track is just going to take over and the combine is going to be ignoring the sensors for that time just be sure not to be careful not to back up with the sensors especially if there's a lot of trash you know around them just be sure to lift the head up out of the you know up off the ground and kind of get some of that trash away from the sensors before you go to back out of a uh, you know, back out of a big wad of trash or something like that. But that's the new row sense. They run with auto track and with or without GPS for a short amount of time. Um, and they're going to be pretty good on the corn heads. Next we're going to talk about row sense. Every time you get a new combine and a new corn head, you need to calibrate the row sense sensors. So we're going to go into our menu, Green Star, and then Diagnostics. And then up here at view, it's going to always default to GPS. So you want to select that, come down to row sense, and right there, calibrate sensor. So all you have to do is push calibrate. It's going to say left sensor voltage too low. So that'll tell you you got something going on there. But usually it'll say cal, and it'll say successful. If it doesn't say successful, call us. Okay, now we're in a combine that we've installed the new auto track row sense option on the corn head. You can tell that it's got row sense because it's got this little icon right here. Basically right now it's gray because we don't have a line set up for auto track. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to set, set a line up. Go to set track zero. I've got current track of four. I'm just going to put a new line in method is A plus heading, I'm actually going to turn that to A plus B. So I'm going to set my A point. I'm going to drive forward. Set my B. Now that I've got my line defined, I'm going to turn my steering on. I'm going to use my number two button to engage auto track and, and lower the head at the same time. So I'm going to get the combine rolling forward. Hit the number two button. Basically it shows up red because I'm not in the crop yet. But now that I've came into the crop, it turned green and it shows the little corn plants coming in. That basically just means that I'm getting data from the sensors. So the, the auto track will always be running in the background. Here again, I've came out of the corn. My sensor's icon is turned red or orange. And it's, it's basically just showing that I'm going across you know, a waterway or something like that. But then whenever I come into a crop, it turns green again. And that way it's going to follow that line. It's basically using, using however the corn row is planted 
and it's going to follow that you know if you've got a little bit of a wag in the corn or whatever a little bit of a uh, you know a little bit of an offset it's going to follow that corn row and the auto track is just going to be running in the background um, auto track row sense can run without any with basically without the sensors feeling the corn at all or it just basically uses the corn to, to shift the line all the time um, auto track row sense will also can also run without any GPS for a couple of minutes just running on the sensors but after a couple of minutes auto track row sense is going to kick out and so is auto track without any GPS